Hi, this is Tim with Cisco's Engineering Licensing Office, and I'm going to show you some of the basics of Smart Software Licensing. First, you can select the Smart Software Manager from Software Central, software.cisco.com, either from the Navibar or in the body of the page. The Smart Software Manager is set up with tabs across the top to make it easier to navigate, and the Alerts tab is the default. The alerts are helpful for understanding what is going on with your licenses. For example, if you have licenses that are getting ready to expire, that's an example of a minor alert. A major alert would be, let's say, licenses that you're oversubscribing. The Inventory tab is helpful for visualizing the licenses you currently own and how you're using them within each of your virtual accounts. You can toggle back and forth between virtual accounts by selecting it from the indicator. You'll notice four sub-tabs that are available. The first one is the General tab, which tells you the details about the virtual account, as well as any of the token IDs that have been used to register your products. The Licenses tab is helpful to understand what licenses you currently own and how they're being used throughout your network. Here's an example of a 50 megabyte AX license for a CSR that we're currently not using. When a product has been registered, it will be listed under the Product Instances tab. And as you go through the registration process, the event log will populate with things that have happened along the way. For example, here is a 50 meg license that we added to the virtual account by doing a conversion from a product activation key. Now here's a new feature, and I think you're going to really like this one. You can now do license conversion from within the Smart Software Manager. This means that I can select to convert that product activation key into a smart license without having to use the license registration portal. Similar process, I select the virtual account that I want to select and the quantity of licenses that I want to convert over. Now after just a quick pause, we'll get a confirmation back on the screen that everything was completed. Let's go ahead and validate that it actually worked. Go ahead and select the Inventory tab and then pick the virtual account in which the license was placed during the conversion process. Here we use the Los Gatos virtual account, and under the Licenses tab, we can now see that 50 megabyte AX license for the CSR that was just converted, and also the event log captured the activity so that we know that it took place. The reporting feature within Smart Software Manager is very powerful and very robust and will show you within a few seconds a quick snapshot of all of your smart licenses throughout your entire network. You can give the report a custom name and you can also choose which virtual accounts you'd like to run that for. An additional benefit is the ability of exporting these reports out to a comma-separated value. At the very top, you'll get a summary of your license usage, as well as a detailed breakdown by virtual account. So this is helpful because now you can actually see all of your licenses in a single report. And also, another thing that I like about this is you can scroll down to the bottom. It will also tell you when you have licenses that are getting ready to expire. This means you'll also be able to make more educated decisions based on when licenses are expiring without any more of the guesswork. Some of the other reports that you can run are license subscriptions, and also my favorite is the product instance report, because it'll show you the products that have connected that are currently consuming licenses. If you would like to receive email notifications on the activities within your smart account, select the email notification tab, and then simply complete the level of detail that you'd like to receive in a daily summary. It's a very fast and convenient way to understand what's going on with your licenses. For example, maybe if there was a product that failed to connect. If you're using the Smart Software Manager Satellite, the Satellites tab will tell you any of the satellites that are currently connected to your smart account. Lastly, the Activity Log keeps track of things that have happened along the way. For example, at the very top, we have a couple of licenses that we just did a conversion on. So that's pretty much a basic tour of the Smart Software Manager and the various tabs and capabilities that exist. Don't forget to bookmark Software Central. That's software.cisco.com.